What's up guys? I've come out to a spot on a river that I haven't fished before and it is like a jungle out here. But I've seen a couple of good fish come up. I've got two baits out, both on bait runners. One I've cast further out, but it's got a quieter clicker so the reel is closer to us. And the louder reel I've got further from us, but cast closer in because a lot of the times these big fish will patrol the shallows, not just the deeper ends of the river. So now it's a waiting game. I think he's moving off to the left. Let's give him a little bit extra line here. I want to set the hook from right here. Just give me a bit better of an angle. If he goes left or right, I can fight him better from right here. I think he's going to the right. Okay, I think we're on a fish. Hard to tell. Whatever it is, is moving. And he's going. Ooh. Yeah. Oh my god, that is a fish. Okay, we're definitely on a fish. And he's decided to go the most difficult way possible. I need. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Now he's cutting the way we need. Kind of. Kind of, he's going around the snag. He's going around the snag. Going around the snag, going around the snag. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, still on. There he is, I see his face. He's a good fish. Okay. That's actually a pretty good fish. I don't think he's turned on yet. I don't think he knows exactly what's happening yet. Oh, there he goes. Ooh. Now here's the problem. I was kind of hoping, I was kind of hoping he'd go the other way. Ooh. Yeah. figure out how to get him around these snags here. Come on, buddy. Come on. Look at him go. All right, so he's right in front of us. I want to get him. Scar. Come over to the right. I gotta get around that big snag right there. And I gotta pull him over the weeds. Because there's some big thick like hard weeds down there. He's not cooperating. Surprise, surprise. But can't really expect him to. I was kind of hoping he would uh, right here make a run for open water to the right. There he goes. He's going the wrong way. Come the other way. Make a run the other way. Make a run the other way. I want him to run that way. Let's try to encourage him. 
See how he wants to go? I want him to go that way. So he swims out around this thick pile of weeds here. So you can't very well pull him over it. The hook will pull. There you go. He's swimming through it. Ooh. Uh, he's looking like a better fish than I was expecting. He's bigger than I thought he was. He's bigger than I thought he was. Oh, yeah. He's a big fish. Now it starts working to this zone here. I want to land him in. We got to watch out because I did spot a decent alligator a little earlier cruising. And by decent, I mean like 10 feet long, which is. Oh. Ow. <sighs> He's not done fighting yet. Come here, buddy. Okay, this is a good spot. Nice muddy slope here. Ooh, the big big fish out there. Just I'm, I'm always on hyper alert doing this after I've seen it. After I've seen an alligator. Okay, just lift your, lift your face a little bit. Ah. Wow. Good fish, good fish, good fish. It's a beautiful gar. Guys. Look at that. Big beautiful fish. I love it. Up near that 60, 70 pound mark. I would say closer to 70. He's very heavy. Let's get him back in the water though. Let's slide him in. Normally I try to get in with him out here, but. Not after seeing that alligator cruising. Fantastic. <laughs> what a fish. What a fish. I've been using a piece of buffalo, which the tail section of buffalo, one of my favorite baits out there for alligator gar. I love it. And they love it. That's why I love it. But that other fish took on a tilapia like this one. Now these are fresh. You can see they're still covered in blood. I caught these in a cast net last night. Kept them on ice, but separated in a bag. So they kind of soak in their own blood instead of the chlorine washing it out as the ice melts. So I'm gonna cut this guy right here. Use the front half of this so This is not always the case, so don't take this as gospel. If you've watched enough of my show by now, you should know, don't take much of what I say as gospel. <laughs> but generally speaking, what I've noticed over the years, doing this a long time, pretty much every day, is that after you catch a big alligator gar, if you have a good long fight with them like we just did, when you release it, you might see it come back up for air, and it'll move slowly. So if you hear another fish feeding out there, whoa, Odds are, and you can always tell the difference between a, a panic surface and feeding based upon the sound of bait fish jumping with it. If you hear a fish feeding like that, even after you've released a big fish, it's probably a different fish. Not guaranteed, but it's very likely. All right, so here's the bait. Half a tilapia, very gross. You can smell it. It's, oh, God. That's what makes it a good bait. If you turn your nose up at it, <laughs> these fish are probably gonna want it. Hooked just like that. Ring the dinner bell. Yeah, it's starting to go. Get my feet set. 
Yep. Fish on. This reel keeps coming loose. That's more the rod's fault. Okay. Fish on. I don't think he's kind of, he's not really putting up a fight yet. He's kind of coming our way, actually. Yikes, yikes, he's right there. What is it? Oh, there, oh, he's a nice fish. He's a nice fish. He doesn't know he's hooked yet. There he goes. <clears throat> there he goes. Oh, oh, oh. fish oh. Okay, he's kind of wearing himself out now. There we go. He's a, he's a little bit smaller than the other one, so I want to see if I can just do this. Oh, I know I never do this, but it worked. Uh, there we go. Uh, a little blood from the hook set, but he's fine. Good fish. Let's put him back. Slide him back in. Let's get away from the water's edge. I saw that alligator come cruising a little while ago. It's down there right now, so I could afford to take a bit of a risk, but can't linger too long. <laughs> Good fish. He kicked a little bit and got uh, one of his scales just ran right across my hand. You guys can see that line running across my hand there. That wasn't one of his teeth, that was a scale. They have scales covered in ganolin. Very, very tough uh, enamel-like substance. Makes it very, very sharp. Nice little cut there, but you know, it's par for the course, I'm used to that. I have probably a hundred different scars now just because of that. Did I lose that fish? No, run, run, run. Oh, wow, that was scary. Fish ran into the, the hook set before I was ready. It scared me. Oh. oh. Holy smokes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hang on a second. Calm the hell down. This is not the biggest fish today, but it is the biggest of the species I've ever seen. It's a long nose gar. Oh my goodness, he's absolutely massive. That's a massive long nose gar. Wow, that is a monster. Look at that. I'm trying to get him all in frame. Show you guys, he is massive. Massive, massive, massive long nose gar. Oh man, that's about as big as I've seen him get ever. What an incredible fish. Wow. That is just absolutely incredible. What a massive, massive long nose gar. Look at that tail. 
Oh, let's get him back. Whew. Look at that. You can see somebody's fishing line injured him at one point, but he seems okay now. Steer him away from that rock there. And off he goes. What a fish. What a fish. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us today. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. If you want to support us on Patreon, check out the link down below that. I'll put that link in there as well. You can support the channel on Patreon, get a load of extra videos, some of my better fishing spots, behind the scenes, all kinds of great stuff like that. And you get to fish with me from time to time. We're gearing up to do our next big Patreon fishing day. Big shout out to Tribe Wear Outdoors for sending us this awesome hat. Nice little flathead catfish design on there. And it kept us out of the sun for most of the day. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see more of. More is coming. Stay tuned. And until it's here, I will see you guys later.